Hi guys, welcome again to another video. This video, we will learn about array and mapping in Solidity. So before that, now let's look at this code here. So we had created this uh, new uh, people type, right? And inside this people, we have the age and the name. And to create a new uh, person, so this is the uh, syntax. So we call people and the keyword public and this is the person right and then inside the people here we define the uh, age uh, 20 and the name is Jack so now let's just uh, compile this one first so pressing on command s and compile successfully with the tick here right and now let's click on this icon and click on the deploy so clicking on the deploy and down here we have this deploy contract and you can see we have this person's button so click on this and you can see we have assigned uh, age equal to 20 and the name is Jack right so what uh, are we going to do next is to define these people instead of like just one like this right we want to um, put it into the array so the syntax would be people with the square bracket like this and then uh, we use the public uh, keyword and the people so we just call this array as people all right so uh, now we need to do is to uh, create a function it's going to be the keyword function and let's just call this function as add new person and this will take two parameters uh, first one will be string and the keyword memory we will get into this in a minute and then this first one here is name and second one is u into 56 this will be the h and don't forget the keyword and inside this function we will uh, start using the people right so people here dot push so this dot push it is the javascript function we just want to add a new person uh, to the uh, this array right here so inside here this will be people and uh, what the parameter that we need to provide well that will be the same format as this one here so it will be h uh, but for now let's just start with the name right because uh, right here we define this as name so it will be name and then h will be h here so the age is right here and this is referring to this age on top here and the name it's coming from this parameter and we assign the name which is right here okay and now let's start uh, compiling this to see whether it's successful or not and yes we got it here and click on the deploy scroll down a new contract is down here and you can now see we have the uh, add new person uh, function and we have the people right here so uh, need what we need to do is to uh, give this string a name um, let's just call this as um, again uh, let's just use my name this time and then uh, the age uh, right, let's just put 100 um, just press on the add new person so now it's added to the uh, array and we need so without having to um, provide anything here so what happened when I click on these people so you can see we see nothing so we need to actually uh, provide an index so the index start from zero right so click on people and you can now see the age 100 name is Hong okay so um, this is uh, how we added a new persons to this array and what happened if I uh, try adding a new one so let's just check 120 right and click on the add new people uh, person and this time instead of zero because uh, we added a new one so this index will uh, be one this time so click on the people and now you can see we have age 120 and name check and I can also change it back to uh, zero as well right so this is the first index name home so that is uh, how we added a new person to the array and this is one type of format right so I'm going to also show you the uh, shortcut as well so it will be people.push 
and the keyboard is people this time I want to say it's like name and age right just using the shortcut so people name and age so what happened when I compile this you might see an error right what happened here um, so because in the people on top here uh, we define um, this age so this start with the index 0 right and this is 1 but right here you can see I define this as the uh, name first and then uh, age so this is not in order right so what we're gonna do is to change the order so it will be uh, age and then name right now let's just uh, compile it again and you can see we have the uh, successful uh, compile so let's try it out see if this is actually working let's just uh, remove the existing contracts and click on the deploy and here we have this and now we have a new uh, person again let's just say it's like hi um, let's just put 80 click on this and then the index start from zero people and you can see we still get the uh, result right age and then name make sure if you use the shortcut here this has to be in the same order as to be defined in the uh, people uh, type here otherwise you can just uh, use this and it would work uh, fine in any orders so now let's uh, start talking about the uh, memory keyword here so you can see we use the string memory and name actually this is not the only keyword we also have um, the storage as well right like this but uh, let's start with the memory so memory it uh, only stores uh, during the execution of this function right here and storage on the other hand right so this one means that the data uh, still persists even after the execution of these functions so it stays uh, permanently right when we use the uh, storage um, so uh, why we only use this with string but not with you in uh, 256 that because the string it is not a value type a string it is an object it's an array uh, of bytes so that's why we need to uh, define uh, whether it is memory or the storage uh, in the parameter here all right so just keep that in mind next i want to show you is mapping and before that let's just uh, comment this one out as well because this is not uh, relevant right so next is mapping so the keyword will be mapping and what do we want to map well we want to map the uh, string uh, to the u in uh, 256 so we string right so string and then this will be u in 256 so what this does basically what we want to know is um, say uh, we only know the person name but we don't know the age of that person so this is uh, what the mapping does so we just need to know the person name then we would get the result which is the age in this case um, so this will be uh, keyword public and then call this as name to age like that and down here we need to also start uh, using this uh, function as well so the name is name to age and right here we want to map the name right to the age so where is the age coming from? It's coming from this parameter here. So now let's compile this and also remove this existing one and click on the deploy button. Now this is deploy. We have the add new person. We have the name to age and we also have the people. So let's just add um, Jack. Let's just put 25 to persons and click on people uh, we haven't seen anything because we haven't provided the index yet so here it is and in the name to h so this is the string so basically we need to provide the name so the name will be jack so let's just click on this and you can see only knowing the uh, string which is the name then we can see the age of this uh, person here right so that's how mapping is done it's similar to search function right 
So next, I want to add a new person. I'm um, going to call this as, well, hello world. 35, add, and the index is 1. Click here, name here. Now, we want to search for this. Hello world. And here, we see the result, which is 35, right? Now, we learn how the array works as well as the mapping. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section down below. And in the next video, we will learn something new. It could be deploying the contract to the real network. Until then, see you guys in the next video.